So this is Brian coming to you from Miami again. And in this video, I want to talk about why workshops, seminars, courses, programs, uh, online courses, none of that stuff actually changes you. And that's weird considering I sell that stuff. So we got to dive in a little deeper and understand what do I really mean by that? And then if you stick around to the end, I'm going to talk about the power of intention and, and there's a little aspect of intention that's really important when you go to do work that will really help you ch uh, change yourself a lot. So stick around for that. Uh, so let's dive in. What do I mean by that? What do I mean by the course doesn't change you? The program doesn't change you. The workshop seminar doesn't change you, especially if I sell this stuff. Well, it's very simple. I get client after client, sometimes advanced clients. They've been doing work for a while. They come in and they're still looking for me to change them. They're still looking for me to provide this secret it's going to shift their reality overnight and everything is going to change for them. And the truth is that real change starts to happen. And this is really important. It sounds so subtle, but it's so true at 100 percent starts to happen when you take 100 percent responsibility for your change at these seminars and workshops. If you come to them, it's not my job to change you. It's my job to provide the most cutting edge information, the right tension, the right vulnerability, the right feeling. And then you have to be open to receiving it to change. If you're closed, I can provide powerful information and none of it will get through those thick walls of yours. And so learning to open can be one of the most powerful things you can do. Learning to be vulnerable in the seminar, learning to be real, learning to try on information that you're unfamiliar with or that just kind of sticks and hurts. And, and you say, you know what, I'm going to try this on. Those open people change the most. And I was not an open person. My teachers to get on me for it. And when I finally started to wake up, I started to speed up a lot. I slowed down my growth so much because of that. I learned though, I learned, and I eventually did get it. I had a good teacher that constantly presented that idea to me over and over again. And eventually everything began to shift and change. Now, could I have done it a lot sooner and a lot faster? I'd been open? Yes, much sooner. Now I'm gonna give you a real world example of this. Something that happened during my mastermind with my advanced clients where it kind of surprised me. I didn't expect these guys to be doing this. But basically what happened was that I sent them to break. It's a program we do with clients over a year. You have to be invited into it. And I sent them to break with a specific assignment. It was a simple assignment, but one that could give them a lot of powerful realizations. And then we could continue to teach after the lunch break based on the hindsight, the experience they get from that. And if you know about the hindsight, I talk about that in my five fundamentals videos for learning. And you should check that video out if you haven't already. Uh, that one should have come out a week or two ago. Um, definitely look for a link in this video for that. When I think about that for a minute, they came back from the lunch break and only one or two, two had done it out of seven or eight that were there that day. Um, I think it was eight and two had done it. And I was surprised. I was like, why didn't the rest of you do this? And they were like, well, you know, I got forgot. I got distracted. You know, they're in a beautiful beach resort. They go out there, they see the beautiful women, they see the sun, they begin to lay out, they begin to relax and they get distracted. Now, the interesting part was the two that did it, especially one of them, were the ones that had some of the biggest successes in the group. They were the ones that had actually came and really applied the work. And one had built a huge cryptocurrency business. Not He actually launched his own coin and, and it recently got to a market cap of over $3 billion. Uh, and I'm gonna do an interview with him soon using the fearless principles. Now, uh, the other one who worked really hard and he was, he was growing a lot, but he was stuck a little bit. And then the other three were just kind of, it's not that they hadn't grown a lot, they'd all grown a lot because they they're in the mastermind, they can't not grow, but they weren't growing as much as I felt they could. So I came down on him a little hard. Here was the other interesting thing I noticed. When I gave him that assignment, went to lunch, I had done it a ton of times. I had done the assignment probably more than any of them. And that's why I think I grew so much and I'm where I'm at today. Because I do this work relentlessly. When I find something that works, I dig into it. I process with it. I change. I, I, I find the next thing and I go for it. I don't do everything at once, but I pick a certain thing and I do it because I am here to grow and change and become the most awake version of myself I can be. So when I asked them why they didn't do it, they just kind of gave me that excuse. I don't know, I was distracted, I was this, I forgot. And then I asked each one of them what their intention was. Why did you fly here, Florida, from wherever you're at, drive here, fly here, get a hotel, stay in the hotel, spend all this money to just 
hang out? What were you doing? What was your intention today? And they had they each had an intention, whether conscious and unconscious. The most successful one, the one with the crypto business, had a clear intention. I wanted to ap- learn to apply this secret to my business to make more income. I was like, oh, very clear. It was actually a little bit uh, said a little different than that. I can't remember the exact words. So, but he wanted to learn how to apply it to his staff and his business and utilize. Oh, it was a, a certain way of focusing success orientation. We call it learning to use success orientation to apply to his business to create more and more successes. And then I asked somebody else, and he said, oh, I wanted to bond with like-minded gu- uh, guys. And I'm like, well, you got that. Another one was like, well, I just wanted to get back in the energy. Well, you got that. And I noticed that the intention each one had matched perfectly with what they did and that's the powerful thing so that's the real secret if you don't have a clear intention as to why you're at the event and what you want to get out of it and you're focusing on the end result the success orientation of that intention like for example i'm seeing myself with two more dates this week something realistic i see myself meeting uh the woman of my dreams you know whatever it is and maybe even a little stretch beyond realistic then how are you supposed to achieve it and how is your subconscious mind supposed to remember to cause you to do the work if your goal in the room is just to be in the energy again which is great i think you should all have that as as an intention but if you if you really wanted to change this area of your life it's got to go a little farther you get in the energy with the intention to what find the woman of your dreams uh build the, the sex life of your dreams what is it that you are here to create and get even more specific as we move on. And as you can check out our uh, down the road, we had our Fresh Start program. I think we're gonna be having another goal orientation program down the road. But that's what really stood out. The guys who did the work really were after something big. We're very clear about what it was. We're very clear about what they wanted. And they showed up at the seminar with a clear goal in mind, not a vague, I hope to feel better. Well, I don't wanna be bad with women anymore. That's the worst, when they start telling me what they don't want. And they can't tell me what they want. So what is your intention, even in watching one of these videos? What's your intention in being on this channel? What's your intention in at buying a program from us? What's your intention when you go to an event live, any event, ours or somebody else's? Do you have a clear goal in mind? If you need to change it at some point, change it. You know, Don't make sure you're just not changing all the time, and stepping out of the t- just to get out of the tension, but set that goal. Now what you're gonna notice is as your intention gets clearer and clearer, more and more focused, you're gonna increase the tension itself in tension, you see? And as the tension increases, if you're not good with tension or uncomfortable with tension, remember tension seeks resolution, then you're gonna have a hard time achieving your goals. It's gonna be a challenge because you're going to uh, wanna run from the tension. So developing a healthy relationship to tension can be one powerful skill set. okay? So I'm gonna encourage you to step out there, develop a ha- healthy relationship to tension and, uh, and to go after it, to go after your goals and go after your dreams and get really specific. And uh, if you really wanna know how to grow faster, uh, check out my recent video on the fundamentals of success. I believe it's the five steps, five fundamentals of success. I will put a link in the video and you can check that one out too, okay? If you enjoyed this video or got any value out of it whatsoever, make sure to like the video, make sure to share the video, make sure to subscribe, uh, hit that bell notification, and put a comment in the video. We, we love it when you put those comments in the video and you help us to grow the channel uh, through the shares. We really, really appreciate it. And uh, with that said, remember, only the confident really live. Take care and have a beautiful day.